Welcome to the Lendlease Project Information Management System Staff Tutorial Series, Approving Progress Entries. In this tutorial video, we will cover the PEMS Progress Menu Review function. This video pertains directly to field supervisors. We will start on the PEMS main screen. To review and accept progress, selecting a SAM or asset is not required. First, let's take a look at the Progress Menu. The Import Expected option allows bulk imports of progress when required. The Expected option is where progress packets await subcontractor review and approval. Review is where progress packets reside that have been approved by subcontractors but await Lend-Lease Field Supervisor review and approval. Let's take a deeper look at this PEMS function. The top of your review screen is a hotbar, allowing you to quickly transition between the different states that a progress entry can sit within. Other states will be covered separately in later videos. For now, let's examine the parts of the review listing. On the right side of the screen, in line with the review progress title, are two buttons. The orange Select All button will select all progress entries currently displayed on your screen. This allows efficient bulk actions to properly selected and reviewed entries. The blue button with the download file icon, when clicked, gives us the option to export the progress entries we have filtered to. Immediately below that is a last updated link that tells us when this data was last automatically refreshed. If a progress entry you want to review was contributed after this time, you can click this link to manually start a progress entry data refresh. Below the title bar are our filter options. The results per page dropbox, when clicked, allows us to select how many progress entries we would like to see and review on our results list. This can help in the case of bulk reviews, such as all progress by a major subcontractor within a SAM. The subcontractor dropbox allows us to filter our progress entry list to a single subcontractor. A specific subcontractor can be searched for by entering all or part of their name into the search box. Each subcontractor will have a number beside their name, telling us, at a glance, how many outstanding progress entries await Lindley's field supervisor review and approval. Our next field is the SAM field. When clicked, it gives a list of all SAMs with outstanding progress entries requiring Lend-Lease review. If you have a subcontractor selected, this list will be only the SAMs they have outstanding entries within. SAM status allows you to filter by whether a SAM is in progress, completed, on hold, or preliminary. The rate code dropbox allows you to further filter to progress entries against specific SORs. Like SOR lists elsewhere within PEMS, you can quickly find a specific SOR by searching for all or part of an SOR code. Asset code allows you to search for specific assets by their asset code. As it is limited to being able to search the first 200 results, the asset code filter is best used after other filters have already been applied to the list. The search box at the end of the filter bar allows you to search all entries on your list for keywords or numbers you input. It searches all fields of a progress entry and can be used, for example, to quickly filter a list of results to a shared part of an asset code. Let's run a filter series. First for our subcontractor, then by SAM which we are reviewing. With those filters in place, Let's take a look at the next part of our review page. The list now displayed shows us entries that require our review and a quick summary of each. The first column tells us the subcontractor and is useful in the event that we have filtered to review entries of several subcontractors in a SAM or by an SOR. The date column shows when the subcontractor filed the progress entry. Area contains the SAM the entry was created in. Asset code tells us the asset the progress entry is attached to and contains a link that, when clicked, 
opens a pop-up giving the approximate address of the asset. The Rate Code column gives the SOR code the progress entry effects and has a small informational icon that, when hovered over, provides a description of the SOR. UOM is the unit of measure. Design quantity gives us the design quantity at the time of initial work release. Actual or current quantity shows us the actual quantity of the SOR in the row. The completed quantity gives the cumulative quantity for all progress against the SOR in the row. This number includes this progress entry itself. Expected quantity tells us the amount of work being filed as completed in this specific progress entry. Each expected quantity column entry will contain a black price info icon that, when hovered over, gives us the specific subcontractor price for that SOR. Progress lines with subcontractor generated variations affecting them will have a variations informational link with an orange icon. When clicked, this opens an informational panel about the variations, giving us a quick overview of the changes. The proposed quantity column reflects the quantity of a subcontractor generated progress proposal. This can differ from the expected quantity in the case of subcontractor generated variations. Some entries will have data in the comments column. When the notepad icon is hovered over, it will display the text of the note attached to the progress entry. Before we cover the final three columns that allow you to select, accept, or dispute a claim, or attach a response, we'll quickly go over the steps to reviewing a progress entry. Let's take a look at the training subcontractor's first claim for work on an MPS. We can see that there are no variations affecting this work and that they did not leave any comments for us to check. So we'll click on the asset code, to open a new tab in our browser directly to that asset. From the main asset page, we can check that they have completed any required ITPs. In this case, we can see that they have. Next, we need to review their progress entry, so we'll go to the progress page, identify their progress entry, and click to expand it. Here, Lindley's field supervisors conducting review need to check the bottom of the progress entry for the attachment of required photos in the correct format and any required documentation such as asbestos disposal paperwork. In this case, we can also see that our subcontractor has correctly taken their photos and attached their paperwork. With our review of the progress entry complete, we can close this tab to return to the progress review screen. Let's take a look at that SELECT column now. This column contains a switch for each progress entry. Clicking the switch will turn it on, selecting this asset for approval or dispute. As our review showed this progress entry was completed correctly, we'll leave the next column, ACTION, set to ACCEPT EXPECTED. This tells PIMS that when we submit our review, this entry has met our approval and can be advanced to finance. Approvals do not require explanation, so we don't have to put any text in the response field. More than one progress entry can be reviewed and approved or disputed at once, so let's take a look at our subcontractor's second entry now. We simply click the switch on this row to activate this entry as well. This entry does have a subcontractor generated variation with a proposed new quantity. Let's take a look at it now. The details tell us that our subcontractor has proposed a change in cable tray length, saying that they've completed the installation with less than design quantities. Let's review their progress entry on the asset. This time, the photos were not properly attached. Let's close the browser tab, and this time we'll open the Action Dropbox and select Dispute. Disputes require an explanation put into the Response field. Progress entries do not need to be selected one by one. The orange Select All button can be used to turn on all entries in your list. For now, 
Let's submit the two we've reviewed. To submit our reviewed progress entries, we simply click the blue Submit Selected button on the bottom left of the screen. The entries we've accepted will be progressed to the Accepted category for Finance to handle. The entries we've disputed will be moved to the Disputed category along with our response. It is considered a best practice for Lindley's field supervisors to follow up disputes with contact to the subcontractor to inform them of the entry now in the disputed category and to guide them through the steps to rectify the issue.